Hello everyone, TN Outdoors 9, trekking through the woods today with the M1 Carbine 30 caliber 18 inch barrel US surplus. This model is a 1943 Inland, manufactured by General Motors. Yes, the same General Motors who builds the Corvette. Now when you compare this rifle to other military rifles, say over the past 75 to 100 years, it's not exactly a Corvette, but when it was in service it was very effective, very handy, and today we're going to stretch this 18 inch barrel out to 300 yards. This is laser measured and actually it's a segment of a 400 yard line that I have cut in the woods standing just in front of the shooting table and yes I will be using a table. I could stand here and be a hero but more than likely just throwing rounds into the trees at this distance. There is the target. We're going through this huge fork in the tree. 18 by 24 inches on the target. AR 500 steel, 3 eighths of an inch thick. This one is from Challenge Targets, and this is exactly what I have today with this rifle, a Challenge. This is obviously open sight shooting. There's the rear sight, backed up all the way to 300. That's as far as it goes. And out front, I have a post. That's it. Ammo, Remington, 110 grain full metal jacket or ball. Advertised muzzle velocity of 1,990 feet per second. It's coming in about 967 pounds, foot pounds of energy at the muzzle. I had never attempted 300 yards with the M1, so I recorded my sight in session. I lined a camcorder behind and through this Nikon spotting scope, that's a 60 power, set it for 20. Noticed that I was coming in about a foot and a half to two feet high and to the left. Less than one click windage adjustment, started aiming for the bottom of the target. Realized I had a chance when I saw this. Okay, ready to go, load it up, safety is on, I'm running two cameras, you'll see the other frame in just a second. Got one zoomed in to the target, it's uh, my older camera, but it has a better zoom. You may switch things around here in just a second. Ten shots, safety off. All I can see is a small black dot on top of the post, and that's how I'm holding. Top of the post is on the bottom of the target. I can't hear anything. If it's hitting or missing, I, I don't know it. I can't hear anything. I think I hear something metallic. Of course, you know you know better than I do what's going on. <laughs> Thought I heard something there. That's some of the crappiest shooting I've ever posted, and I'm so glad you got to see it. Going high, it looked like, on the first four or five shots, and I brought it down. So let's try that again. One camera on me, another camera now through the spotting scope at 20 power, and that camera zoomed in just a little bit so we can better see that picture. Ten shots. Put them just a little bit lower, probably below the target.
I think I heard a hit. Five shots, camera at the target. Target cam. And finally, I wouldn't be able to go to sleep tonight unless I try at least a few shots at the 12 inch plate. Spotting scope cam and also a camera down at the target. Five shots, it doesn't matter what color I paint it, I can't see it. So this will be luck. Did it go over? <laughs> I can't believe that. That's crazy. Finally, a decent score on one of those sessions. Five for five on that last large plate session. Still drifting off over to the left. I'll work on that with some off-camera sessions. I found some flattened bullets and some jacket fragments. These were immediately below and in front of the target pretty interesting and that last shot had no idea where I was going but I just assumed that I was still shooting high and left so I came down low and right and look what happened that is about the worst possible place I could have hit that plate and made it drop it weighs 13 pounds you can see that's right there above the weld but it went down that is amazing tell you what M1 carbine I've said it before if you're interested in one of these you better get them fast the good ones the ones that are in good condition, getting more difficult to find, and they are all certainly not getting any less expensive. Thanks for watching.